Welcome to Calculus. Our stress tolerance level has risen so high that nothing phases us. On this episode, Stevenson will demonstrate... What is the derivative of each of these functions? Take a moment and figure that out. Did you notice something? Did you notice that you got the same exact answer in every single case? Well, what's the only thing these functions differ by? In other words, what's their only difference? Did you notice that they only differ, differ by a constant? Well, geometrically, here's what they look like. These are all just vertical translations of each other. They are all sine waves just moved up or down from the parent sine wave function. That's their graphical difference. So what does this mean? Well, we can actually work backwards. For example, if you know the derivative of something, you can figure out where it came from. What could be the function f of x is the derivative of? Is there only one answer or are there many answers? So if I told you f prime was sine, think for a moment, that's the derivative. So what could f of x be? In other words, where could this derivative have come from? There are many answers to this, but the thing here is they only differ by a constant. Did you figure out that this comes from a cosine, specifically a negative cosine? But there's many negative cosines. The only difference is, is plus or minus some constant. Remember the example a few slides ago? So what this means is the f of x function, where f prime is coming from, would be negative cosine plus c. So that c is going to represent any constant you can think of that would create the difference between the different functions. But the difference, though, is that they're all going to give you the same derivative of sine. What this is, is a corollary you wrote down. What it tells you is that if you have a relationship f prime is equal to g prime at every point, then there's such con some constant where the antiderivative okay, of your function is exactly the same, but it just differs by c. Now, c is an arbitrary constant. It's required when you're finding what's called the general antiderivative, not a specific antiderivative. When we say antiderivative, we're basically saying we're finding where did the derivative come from. So if your derivative is f prime, we're asking, what was f? So when you do antiderivatives, you're doing a process called antidifferentiation. differentiation